It didn't come with an adjustable height stand. The soft nib squeaks when I use it on the screen. I hate that the fan blows constantly and the touch buttons at the top are stupid. Other than that, it's pretty good. I've been loving using my Cintiq Pro since I unboxed it about six months ago, but I do have some complaints. Overall, the tablet is still really solid. The pen feels great in my hand and feels great on the screen. In fact, when I'm using it, I sort of stop noticing it, which is pretty much the hallmark of a well-designed piece of equipment. And aside from the occasional driver update, I haven't experienced any technical issues with the tablet. Some of you have posted in the comments of my other videos about technical problems you've experienced with other brands. I haven't seen anything like that from the Wacom Cintiq Pro, so so far so good. Now having said that, here are the complaints I have. The Cintiq Pro does not come with an adjustable tilt stand. All I get are these two little plastic feet that barely tilt the screen at all, so I have to strain my neck over the screen to really use it effectively. At first, I figured this was no big deal, but after using it for a little while, I've gotten some pretty bad back and neck pain from hunching over for hours at a time. And that's just not something you expect at the $2,000 price point. I mean, you would think for that amount of money, Wacom would include a stand. And not only that, but Wacom has the audacity to make the Cintiq Pro incompatible with standard VESA mounts, or Versa, whatever. The little four screws that all the mounts on Amazon are compatible with. Wacom does have a VESA mount converter you can attach to the back of your Cintiq Pro, but it's kind of annoying you have to spend 80 bucks on that. My other complaints are mostly just nitpicky. Wacom gives you two different types of nibs when you purchase the Cintiq Pro. The standard one is the standard plastic hard nib, but they also include some softer nibs for you. I would have rather had them include a stand at this price point, but I'll take what I can get. I actually prefer these softer nibs because I think it feels a little bit more like pen on paper. You have a little bit more resistance when you move the nib across the screen. But when I'm using this softer tip, the pen squeaks when I rub it on the screen. And the squeak is coming from where the nib is attaching to the inside of the pen. This sound drives me insane, so much so that I've gone back to the default nib that I prefer less. It's like one of those sounds that makes you just like clinch up and grit your teeth when you hear. Like for me, the same sound happens whenever I scrape the bottom of my teeth on like a really hard, crunchy piece of pizza. Oh, I couldn't even talk about this. Like a flowery piece of pizza and you're teeth just scrape on the bottom. Uh, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'm sweating just thinking about it. Anyways, Wacom does make other pens that maybe don't have this problem because I do think it's a problem with the way the pen attaches to the nib. In my original review, I mentioned that the fan starts blowing if you set the brightness above the factory default. And at first I said that wasn't really a big deal. Turns out I lied. It does drive me nuts. It's one of those noises that when it stops, all of a sudden it feels like all the tension in the room is just gone and it's just peaceful and quiet. I actually prefer a pretty bright screen, but if I set the brightness to what I want, which is like 75%, the fan blows way too loud for me to use. I have to basically have my headphones on the whole time listening to music or else it will drive me nuts. So I kind of made a compromise with my tablet. I set the brightness to 60%, which is not quite what I want, and in return, the Cintiq Pro blows its fan a little more quietly. It seems like a symbiotic relationship. Other tablets might suffer from this issue, maybe it just comes with the territory of being a 24 inch screen. Either way, it's pretty annoying. Lastly, and this is super minor, these little buttons at the top, these little touch buttons at the top are stupid and I always accidentally press them whenever I'm reaching over the tablet to like grab a book or spill my coffee or whatever and I almost never want to press them. So I wish the tablet didn't have them or had physical buttons instead. It's not really a deal breaker, just annoying. And those are pretty much my biggest complaints. I still think that by far this is the best feeling tablet I've used and it's still my primary tablet. I would still fully recommend it. And that's all. Now I know many of you have enjoyed seeing my little baby girl in some of my videos. It's with bittersweet news I have to report this is the last time she'll be making an appearance. Because look at this. This is a full grown toddler now. But you can rest assured this toddler will be making much chaos in most of the videos from now on. Yes. Daddy? Daddy? Dada? Daddy? Dada, can you say dada? <laughs> dada? Dada? Shark, who am I? Dada? Mm. <laughs> Close enough.